Welcome back to Land the House. There are two main designs of hydraulic ram pump. The version that I build and sell at landthehouse.com, I like to call the linear version because the drive pipe comes in, hits the check valve, hits the pressure tank, and straight on out. So the other design looks like this. And today I want to test out the two different designs side by side and see which one is more efficient or if they're both the same. So first let's test out this model here. There are a couple of values I want to get real quick and that's the head pressure and the delivery height. So the head pressure is from this blue bucket here. I'm going to guess total about three feet. Now I'm not going to count the hydrostatic pressure. It's going to be the adjusting as the water goes down. We'll just consider it to be uh, out of the equation. Because it'll be the same for both. All right, now for the delivery height, I've got a garden hose to the top of the gutter up here. So let's see, five. Roughly 10 feet height. So we've got three feet going into 10 feet. I think that's gonna be enough back pressure in this system. So let's get started. For test one, I have the delivery pipe closed, and I'm going to time how long it takes for this style of pump to drain that five gallon bucket. So I'm gonna, I've already got everything primed. It should start on its own whenever I open this valve. Okay, I'm gonna sit back and wait for that bucket to drain. Okay, at 340, I heard it pull its first air, so we'll consider it to be 340. That's 3 minutes and 40 seconds. So, the next test, I want to open up the delivery pipe and just get a value on how long it takes to fill a water cup. That way it will have an efficiency uh, number, basically. This is the garden hose delivery pipe, and I'm going to use this bucket with tape to see how long it takes for this water to reach the bottom of this. So let me go start the pump real quick. My bucket is full and we'll see what we get. Okay, here we go. Kind of a slow process. Twenty-two seconds. Not bad. On this pump, the drive pipe comes in through the bottom, just like the previous version. Then it will the water will continue through and hit the check valve on this side over here. When a pressure wave happens, it'll come back up into the pressure tank and then out the delivery pipe here. Just like with the other pump, I have my bucket full. I have the delivery pipe closed and I want to time how long it takes to empty that five gallons. So I'm gonna crank this open and it's already primed so it should start right away. All right, let's see how long it takes to empty that five gallon bucket. Okay, the time is 425 and I just heard it uh, gulp its first gulp of air. So I'm gonna stop it here. So this thing uses a significant amount less water than the other version. Let's see if it pumps uh, the same more or less on the delivery end. Just like before, I'm gonna start the pump and then time how long it takes the water to get to this point right here. Okay, there we go. Well, that's very interesting. The pump that I build and sell consumed five gallons in three minutes and 40 seconds. So it was pulling pretty good. This style used five gallons in four minutes and 20 seconds. So we're looking at 40 seconds difference, which means that this style requires less gallons per minute to operate. But I also found that this bucket filled with 
the style I make in 17 seconds versus the 22 seconds it took for this one. So it consumes less water, but also pumps less water. Um, so that I think will give you an idea of how these two pumps operate. If you need less water um, to be pumped and because you have less flow in your creek, then this might be something to consider. But they are pretty close and so I think uh, the results aren't that different. Thank you so much for watching. Right out here. If you have a suggestion for a ram pump test, please put that in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. If you uh, want to buy a pump, head over to landthehouse.com. And uh, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. If you want to pump creek water for livestock or a garden, check out the ram pump. This amazing water pump requires no fuel and no electricity to work. Installation is quite simple. Just place the pump in the creek, run a drive pipe to bring water to the pump, and install a delivery pipe to take water uphill. To start the pump, simply push this check valve down, and it will begin on its own, running seven days a week, 365 days a year. To learn more about the Ram Pump, go to my website, landtohouse.com. I have four different size models for sale and lots of information. Now, if the Ram Pump is not your thing, check out my YouTube channel, Land to House, where I have lots more content for you to enjoy.